And on today's show, the $40,000 YouTube strategy, part three of this week's series, Easy Marketing for Instant Results, with award-winning marketer and business growth strategist, Jeremiah Demeray. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician and Inspark. Let's get down to business. Welcome to the show, Jeremiah. Thank you, Steve. Well, day three, and now uh, your titles are always ever increasing in my mind. This is the newest one, the $40,000 YouTube strategy. I've been on YouTube now for three, almost four years now. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to hear your strategy. But before we get into it, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us what our today's show giveaway is and what you're doing? Absolutely. So today what we want to do, I mean, Steve, you know we've been big fans of yours for a long time. We really appreciate what you're doing for the community. So for all of Steve's uh, listeners and watchers out there, what we're going to do today is if you go to agencygrowthacademy.com forward slash Steve, we're going to give you the step-by-step -step blueprint that got one agent $43,000 worth of free internet traffic by shooting a simple YouTube video. We're going to give you exactly how we did it how he walked through it step by step, and we'll even give you a link so you can go and check out the video yourself. That's unbelievable. I can't wait to hear it myself. I'm excited. Well, walk me through. First of all, talk about what is YouTube so everybody understands. It is the biggest now. It's so huge around the world, and it connects into Google. Apparently, they have mm -hmm. a relationship. Walk me through it because most of our advisors go, gee, Steve, I have a smartphone, and that's all I have. Can I do that strategy off a smartphone camera? So see, that's the great thing about YouTube is you're mm -hmm. not limited to a big studio like you know we have right here. You can absolutely just use your phone. Mm -hmm. You can use the small camera that comes with your laptop. You could use a point and shoot camera that has a movie feature. You don't have to get all fancy. No, it's pretty easy to get on YouTube, right? If I don't have an account, I, it's pretty easy to sign up, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a free process. You don't have to pay anything. And within five minutes or less, if you're going really slow, it'll take you about five minutes, but normally it takes most people two minutes. You create a new YouTube channel, and guess what? You're the star of that show. Hmm. So now, when the original idea came up, because what was the actual six-minute video? What was the content inside that? So we had an advisor out in Colorado who ended up, he was, you know, he's never recorded a video before. He's not savvy with digital marketing. He's a self uh, acclaimed uh, gentleman who said, you know, I've, I've been drugged into the digital world, kicking and screaming. And I think a lot of us feel the same way. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so intimidating, it's so overwhelming. So that's why we want to give you just a real simple step-by-step -step strategy. And so he recorded this video about the pros and cons of Obamacare. I mean, mm -hmm. how, how boring of a topic could that be? You know, I mean, of course, we're fascinated with it because it's our livelihood and we have to help people. But who wants to watch a video about Obamacare? Most people mm -hmm. don't. But this little video that he recorded, it started in a nice gradual process. In the first couple of months, he got you know a couple hundred views. Then it went to a couple thousand, and then it started to take off. It went viral, and within two and within six months, he got two thousand views. Within a year, he got to fourteen thousand views. And the last time I checked, it was right around nineteen thousand views for his little video on Obamacare. And it's just mm -hmm. him in his office with a shirt and a tie, friendly guy standing you know with a there's a little picture of a flower and there's a, a painting on the wall of a mm -hmm. mountain and he's just saying hi you know my name's randy and here's the pros and cons of obamacare that's it no, no special effects nothing mm -hmm. fancy why do you think it caught on why because he was being real he was being mm -hmm. himself and that's one of the things that people love about youtube is you get to see the real you get to see the gritty you get to see people as they really are without a lot of you know, lights and effects, and mm -hmm. it's really appropriate for the show. But sometimes when you're doing research for information, do you want an advisor that's sitting in a studio mm -hmm. that's got all these fancy lights? I mean, in your mind, you're thinking, ah, this guy's kind of markety, mm -hmm. right? You know, I wonder if he's telling me everything or if everything he's doing is mm -hmm. scripted. That's what people love about, you know, video selfies and selfies. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's just who you are. And with all of the marketing bombardment that we're influenced with every day, people love to see the real stuff. When I think about uh, hopping out on YouTube and thinking about Obamacare, so I'm assuming that the search engines pick this up on the issue of Obamacare. So somebody wants to see it, and then all of a sudden when they look on the first page of Google, it's all written content, written content, all of a sudden, oh, video, six minutes, I'm taking it. I've noticed this in my own practice where people will look at video. I can do the same written content and I can do the same content on video and they're going to choose video like five to six to one. 
Absolutely. And here's a quick uh, strategy for those who are already doing video is if you record a video, you can go to a website called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And for $5, somebody will transcribe what you said on video mm. into an actual Word document or YouTube is now doing it as well. It's transcribing mm -hmm. your video. And now you have a video and you've got an article and you can break it down into tweets if you want. You can further deconstruct it as you and I were talking about before the show. But you're right, because Google owns YouTube, they put a lot of value mm. on any relevant content that is found exclusively on video. So you have a much better chance of getting seen in the search engines if your pieces of content are in video first and then they're you know, in a written document. When we come back from the break, we're gonna walk through this. Jeremiah's gonna walk us through this. I think you're gonna find this fascinating. And again, this is not that hard. We'll be right back. It's not how much money you make for your clients, it's how much money they get to keep, especially in retirement. But retirement income could cause Social Security benefits to be taxed. One tax advantage alternative is life insurance designed as a non-modified endowment contract that can generate tax-free income without taxing Social Security benefits. These contracts offer differing funding options depending upon your client's risk tolerance. For more information on how life insurance can be part of your retirement planning, just email me at steve at downtobusiness.tv. Brought to you by Ash Brokerage, the practice enhancement company. Well, welcome back to the second segment. Jeremiah is going to walk us through now this $40,000 YouTube strategy. I love this. Again, YouTube's easy. It takes about five minutes to join. And you can use a regular smartphone. You could use your laptop. Mm -hmm. doesn't take much cinematography here. That's right. Walk us through this. Yeah, and again, Steve, I just want to give this, this note. The reason why we call it the $40,000 YouTube strategy is not that somebody made $40,000 or you have to pay me $40,000 to learn it. It's because we got $40,000 worth of free traffic to this video, which then allowed this advisor to get people to opt into his list to go to his website. And that's really key mm. because if he wanted to go out to Google, Google AdWords, and buy a click for somebody who's looking for Obamacare in Colorado, that would cost him about $1.65. Mm. So if you take $1.65 and multiply that times 18,000, it comes very close to about $40,000. And now mm. he's probably over 20,000 views. So that's why. So again, mm. individual results may vary. Check with your attorney, you know, <laughs> do your own work, drink milk, all that good stuff. Um, and of course, success is a result of hard work. So when I brought this up on the screen, uh, you know, in the segment, Steve, you're like, couldn't you find a better looking guy? Right. Well, I'm actually thrilled that this guy looks the way he does. And you could tell he shot this video on his laptop. But here's the really cool part, Steve. This guy has one video on YouTube around health insurance. When you look at the keyword cheapest health insurance, his video has 19,000 views and 212 likes. So you don't have to be fancy. And I really used his example to show that, guys, just get out there and do it. You know, once you get your first one done, you're gonna see how natural it becomes and you'll actually have fun doing it. So here's the same strategy that one of our students used to get ranked on Google. Now you'll notice here, what's important for Google is keywords that are in the video title and in the video description. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, Steve, this is a template for uploading YouTube. I'm actually gonna give you this template if you go to that website we gave at the beginning of the show, you'll get all this in a step-by-step -step format, okay? So what happens is your video will show up here and then you have three areas that you can edit after you upload your video. So you click on upload your video and now you can edit these areas. And these areas are the most important to pay attention to. In the first section here, now this is the title. This is what you're gonna call your video. In your title, what you want to use is use your primary and secondary keywords as much as you can. Don't repeat it, just use different ones. Now, for example, if I'm in California and I'm targeting uh, CEOs or HR directors for group benefits, if somebody's searching for group benefits in California, they're probably going to use some of these keywords, group health insurance California or small business insurance, right? So I'm going to use those in my title. Now, Steve, the next place that we go to is the description. Now, here's a really good trick you should use. In your description, after you've put your, you know, the name of what this video is all about, you want to put the transcript of your video here. Mm -hmm. So don't just put, this is a video about group benefits. Use the feature within YouTube that you can put the whole transcript right in there because now you're gonna get juice from Google for the video and you're gonna get juice for the actual content okay, in the so description. Let me make sure I understand. So I see that, I know where the transcription is on YouTube. I just right. copy, copy, 
paste. Now, I noticed they have little numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, do you have to get rid of those or do you just put the whole thing in the way it is? You could easily put that in there. If you want to make it clean a little more mm -hmm. readable, you could just clean it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Now, the first thing you want to have in your description is the link to your website. And this is where most advisors completely miss the boat because what do you really want a YouTube video to do for you, Steve? What do you think? What's the purpose of a YouTube video? Bring traffic to my website. Exactly. So wouldn't it make sense that the first thing that you read in the description is the link to your website, right? Even better, if, you, if you're giving away a free report or a free consultation or a free assessment, you want to have people link to that form so that people can opt in and now they get on your list. So instead of just watching you, now they follow you and now you have their email and now you can market to them. Now see, that sounds so counterintuitive. I would have thought you put the actual URL link at the end. You know, describe it, put it at the end. But you're saying, no, billboard it. Bring it right up front, at the front end. That's right. And the reason is too, when somebody is doing a search on Google and your video happens to come up, some people bypass clicking on the video and will go straight to the website. Hmm. Well, now when I'm looking at this, now I've done my descriptions, I've tried mm -hmm. to do your protocols, right? Yeah. And again, remember, you're, you're giving away this actual step-by-step -step information. Yeah, we'll give you a template, it'll walk you right through it. The last thing you want to do uh, in this area here in the description, this is kind of a little ninja strategy mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of online marketers use, is once you, pay, once you upload your video and YouTube gives you the link, hey, here's the link, Steve, to your YouTube video, grab that link and put it at the la as the last link in your description. The reason is there's other sites out there that go out and crawl for videos and then they basically take those videos and they embed them on their sites. And what you want, what Google loves to see is, vi is links going back to your own video. So now you take advantage of you being embedded on these other sites and you put that link linking back to you, that's another place for you to get found in Google. Okay, let's just make sure we have this correctly because I might have to do this now. Yeah. So I'm taking my normal URL link of my video and yes. I'm now put pasting it into the Tags or the description The description. Box? And the description. So is that at the end? At the very end. Okay, so the front end is my site. The mm -hmm. back end of my description is the actual... Link to the video. LinkedIn video. Okay, yeah. okay. And then the last thing you want to do is this This is now in the, the tags. Now this is where you can kind of tell Google, okay, here's the words I want to get ranked for uh, if somebody is searching. So what you want to do first is put your all your relevant keywords without quotation marks. So for mm -hmm. example, we're using the example of group health insurance, small business, group insurance, California. And then here's buyer keywords that people type in, Steve. What is, how to, shop for. When people type in what is small business insurance, these are investigative keywords. When people type in things like shop for, now they want to see prices, they want to start talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. So if you have those in your tag, much higher chance that your video will get ranked. And then finally, put quotation marks around the videos you really want, the keywords you really want to rank for, but don't repeat them more than once. So for example, you'd put group health insurance, group health insurance California, small business insurance, small business insurance California. Now why, are one, why does one require quotes and the other doesn't? Well, it just based on the algorithm and how Google looks at it. If you put quotes around, Google says, oh, okay, you're really trying to rank for those keywords. If your content matches the purpose of the keywords and you've got enough views and enough links, says, Google says, okay, cool, great video. But there's these anomalies right there. Sometimes uh, people type in really weird strings in Google, right? Like insurance, small business, what is? Like they'll mm -hmm. literally type that out. They won't use the general English structure of it. So by having those as kind of anomalies, mm -hmm. then now you increase the chances of your video getting found. Okay, so the really keywords, quotes, the reg the reg can stay unquote. There you go. Okay. Well, this is a really great strategy, and I love the way that you've stepped it out, and the giveaway to show today may be one of the hottest ones we've had thus far this week. This is a really great idea. I love the tutorial. Easy to understand. Even Steve Savant gets it. <laughs> Unbelievable. It. Well, that's all the time we have for today's show. Remember, before moving forward with any of the ideas on our show, always consult your tax advisor, legal counsel, or your broker-dealer compliance officer. Missed an episode? Just hop out to my site, downtobusiness.ashbrokerage.com. Want to email me? Just write me at steve at downtobusiness.tv. And remember, you could be wiser as an Ash Brokerage Advisor. I'm Steve Savant. See you.